Hey everybody on YouTube, Carl Alexander here, and in today's video, I need to talk about a serious issue. Rocket League has ruined my life. What began as a simple benchmark for an Intel HD graphics video has turned into something terrible. I find myself unable to play anything except Rocket League. So instead of trying to deal with my problem, I'm just going to make a video about it instead. Seriously though, I've played 50 hours of Rocket League in the last few weeks, and so far it's one of the most rewarding and fun games I've played in years. On the surface this looks like a simple game about Hot Wheels cars playing soccer, but in reality it's actually an incredibly deep game about teamwork and strategy. I've never been a fan of eSports titles, and the idea of me sitting and watching someone else play a competitive game for my own enjoyment has always been a bit of a stretch. But with Rocket League, I found myself glued to the recent World Championships. I think the relative simplicity of the game makes watching it easy to enjoy. There aren't any complicated rules or penalties. It's just a game about scoring goals. Presentation-wise, Rocket League is solid. The graphics may not have all the bells and whistles of some AAA titles, but it looks great and is playable on a wide range of hardware. My GTX 1070 has no problems getting frame rates close to or above 200 at 1440p, making this one of the smoothest games I've played on my high refresh monitor. And turning down the graphical settings doesn't make the game totally unplayable. The environments will be jaggy and you won't have the fancy grass and lighting effects, but you can still play competitively. The audio is also spot on. Sound effects of the cars crashing, hitting the ball, and especially scoring are all very satisfying. Each map has its own theme, and many come with environmental sounds like crowds cheering at a soccer match to a Japanese announcer doing some color commentating. As far as gameplay is concerned, Rocket League isn't much more than the gameplay you've already seen. It's very analogous to soccer, but doesn't have any rules to go along with it. You can cherry pick, smash into other cars, and even blow them up. The main element of gameplay, besides the obvious, comes down to boost. Your car has a boost ability that can send you flying down the field or into the air. Using and maintaining boost is in many ways the most crucial part of the game as it allows you to make aerial hits and saves as well as outmaneuver the competition. A third of your boost is provided after any goal or the start of a match, and there are boost pads scattered around the playing field that can replenish it. This adds a very strategic element to the game. As an example, a valid plan of attack is to steal the enemy team's boost and keep the ball towards their goal. Without boost, they eventually can't save every shot, though at the same time, this could leave your goal unprotected. It's things like this that make the game so much more than just a silly car game. Besides the regular soccer mode, there are others included, like a hoops mode that plays more like basketball, an ice field mode that has hockey elements, and Rocket Labs, a set of maps that are on the experimental side of things. I haven't played much of these alternate modes, but every once in a while they are a nice way to mix things up and actually can help you learn skills because of the differing mechanics. There is also downloadable content, and from what I can tell, it's handled pretty well. Custom cars and items can be purchased for real-world money, including the awesome DeLorean I've been using. But none of it's necessary to play the game. The base cars you get are just as capable as any of the ones you can buy. New decals, paint jobs, wheels, and ornaments can be earned as in-game rewards, traded between players, or can be unlocked through chests. Chests are a set of items that you can pay to unlock though you'll only get a single item from each chest. It's disappointing that you can only unlock these chests with real-world currency. It would be nice if you could earn a key to unlock them every once in a while in-game, but again, the items they have don't give anyone any advantage in the field. It's simply cosmetic. My only big gripe with Rocket League are random matches. Playing with a group of friends or even just one other person really makes this game as fun as it is. Getting into a flow, rotating around the field, trusting your teammates, and making great plays is why it's so enjoyable. There's nothing quite like seeing a play come together that every person had a part in. However, when you step into the world of random matches, the lack of cohesion in a team can cause a lot of toxicity and rage quitting. 
When most people are playing in an online match, they are playing for their own score and not the teams. So I'm glad I've found a group of people who love this game, because I don't think I would have enjoyed it nearly as much without them. Overall, Rocket League is a simple, fun, and addictive game that makes you want to get better. You don't have to worry about complex stat upgrades or car enhancements to improve. You simply have to play the game and think about your shots. It features some good training modes that allow you to experiment outside of competition, and there are bot matches for people who aren't ready to play online. It even has local split screen on PC. It really has almost every feature I can think of that a game like this needs. It's too bad I didn't find this game sooner, but I'm glad I have. With updates still rolling out and new competitive seasons opening up, I think Rocket League is going to be a mainstay for me. The retail price is worth every cent of the $20 I paid, and at least on PC, it's on sale several times a year. I have rarely played a game that so quickly repaid its price and enjoyment. If you get a chance, try this game. You won't be disappointed. Okay, everybody, that was my video for this week. I hoped you liked it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, I think you know what to do. Leave me a comment down in the comments section. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one in the future. Coming up next week, I'll have a video about something. Not sure what it'll be, but as always, I'll figure something out. So I hope you stick around for that, and thanks for watching.